Um, yeah, that was that was really kind of the beginning, or, or I guess you can say it was during uh, the Trayvon Martin trial, um, where his his killer was found not guilty, and there was this big hoodie movement at the time, it was about eight years ago, um, and that was the time where I, I feel like if you were a creative person and you know you had any sort of like social justice drive in you then that was your time to really become an art of it really um that was a it was the weekend that the black lives matter movement began um so a lot of stuff was happening and that was that was really when i made this piece of martin luther king jr in a hoodie it went viral and um i ended up being on cnn like <laughs> the next day to talk about it that was the moment really where it's like, okay, this is what artivism can do. This is how I can use my art to kind of like wake people up or, you know, inspire people. I said, I'm going to just make an art piece every Sunday, you know, once a week, I'm just going to make some art. So it, on one hand, it was like art as therapy. On the other hand, it was um, artivism and, you know, just trying to reflect what's happening in the world. I'm curious how you decided specifically to marry the hoodie movement with the figure of Dr. Martin Luther King. Um, how did that idea come about? I was actually, I was talking to one of my classmates at Hampton. Um, um, we were talking about just the hoodie movement and how interesting it would be for, you know, iconic leaders throughout history. Like, what would they be doing during this time? how would they protest or how would they really speak out for justice for all? And the the first iconic leader that came to my mind was Martin Luther King. And so for one, it was one of the fastest pieces that I ever created. It was just like Photoshop, you know, I'm gonna take this hoodie and take this classic image of Dr. King and put them together. <laughs> And then I, so I made it kind of look vintage, like this old, like, you know, 1960s um, scratched kind of photograph. Um, Cause I wanted to look as real as possible. And I think it, that really kind of like shook people to see uh, Martin Luther King in, in such a different way. But I, I felt like it spoke to the moment because that's, I, you know, Dr. King was arrested many times for protesting and he was amazing. He was a um, fiery protester. And so I think that's at the minimum, he would have been, you know, wearing a hoodie and, and marching in the streets. You know, it was about Dr. King's dream of not wanting anybody to be judged for their outward appearance. And it was funny because like so many people were making my point by people were saying like, oh, you're making Dr. King look like a thug. <laughs> And it's like, that's the point of the art piece. Like, he, you know, if if Trayvon Martin hadn't been um, profiled in that way, he would still be alive. 